speed up, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. This is the swivel chair drill. I'm going to use a chair that swivels and just stand up in a neutral position. However, your feet naturally lay, just go ahead and stand that way. And then sit down. When you sit down or squat, what happens is your femurs actually internally rotate into your pelvis. So as you stand up and squat down, you should feel your femurs actually rotating in and out. Now this drill is going to help us actually make the transmission move forward off of the rear foot and it kind of isolates the lower body away from the weight shift and bracing. Since this internally rotates our hips, we have a lot more leverage to quickly move forward or backward. And you'll naturally want to push off of your toes or insteps and pushing the heels off the ground. What I commonly see a lot of players mistakenly do is try to push off of the rear heel and extend the rear knee and also this will happen from a position where the rear foot is completely backwards to the target and extending the knee and you'll notice that this is not rotating the chair at all this is just pushing forward but you're pushing yourself backward. It's a backward move off of the leg. As opposed, if you're in a neutral stance here and pushing yourself forward, this swivels your whole uh, pelvis and torso. And it also drives the rear knee forward and it stays stacked under the hip. Now this is ignoring your weight shift forward because you're just clearing your hips out of the way and not uh, making a forward move onto the front leg yet. And this is actually a precursor to how you would crush the can. You have to make this move off of the rear foot into the front foot and leg. I'm also going to talk about the eversion of the rear foot, which is when your toes turn outward. But since we are torqued into the ground through our instep, what happens is the heel moves targetward instead. If your toes turn outward in your swing, it's actually spinning your foot out and so you're moving the opposite direction that you want to make to make a forward move and this is just pure torque going forward the other thing I want to talk about is planar flexion which is pressing the gas pedal speed up gas, the gas pedal, pedal. Gas pedal. Gas and pedal. pushing off the heel would be pressing the brake. So you want to press, press the gas pedal and accelerate forward and not braking backward. So it's pressing the gas pedal. If you try to press the brake, you're going to move backward and not make your forward move and rotate. And it gets confusing talking about rotation and linear move because really you can't make a forward move without rotation and it's just the way your body works everything is moving through your hips just when you walk forward you have to swivel your hips so also what pushing off the rear heel does is end up tipping your upper body forward instead of rotating yourself centered. So 
So if your lever's more forward, this way coming off the toes, everything is turning more centered and it's just going to speed everything up. So the other thing with this drill is what happens when you widen your stance and you have to keep your knees on the front side of the chair here and when you widen your stance you end up angling your shins and your feet and your more on the inside edges of your feet and you can push back and forth this way and what you'll notice is that you'll end up looking like Will Schuster speed up gas pedal gas pedal gas pedal gas pedal gas pedal now speed up gas pedal gas pedal gas pedal when he's getting ready to make his transition move forward and shift his weight and this heel comes down and crushes the can which is bracing this has to happen with your front hip closed in this drill you're just blowing right through your brace and rotating through and clearing your front hip back so when you go into crushing the can in the transition off of the rear foot onto the front foot you have to keep your front hip closed while you're crushing and making this move off the rear foot and also what you have to do is keep your shoulder right over your toes and you want to keep yourself stacked so your knee and hip are also stacked right over your foot so everything is coming through stacked right over top of your front foot and this gives you a lot of space to swing through and you're keeping the keeping nice width in your back swing and you can come through keeping this close to your chest and then extending it out wide into the release and your rear shoulder should also come right over your and stuff. So your rotation, shoulder rotation, should end up centered right over your front foot or what feels like your front foot. Now as you're coming in more dynamically into the plant, it's actually going to stay just behind or it's braced behind your front foot and you come through with the rear shoulder coming right over the front foot. So from behind you're coming right over your speed up. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal.